Sidewalk seats, curbside tables appear around the city during the pandemic. It brings animation to the streets. You hear people in excited conversation. Um, it really brings the streets alive. But some people in neighborhoods around the boroughs are getting organized to express their concerns about permanent locations and designs of outside dining structures. When there's a flood, you put sandbags down. When the flood waters recede, you take the sandbags out. The emergency is going to be over. Stuart Waldman's lived in the West Village since the 1980s. He wants the city to take a look at the types of streets and the operation of businesses. They weren't meant to be on the street, the businesses. They were meant to be inside. So they're really changing the meaning of residential zoning. I think this is really sort of um, an underlying tension, the competition for the streets. Proposals are being drafted right now and will go through public hearings and a city council vote that could last into the summer. The current structures and locations would probably be in place through the winter of 2022. As of now, the plan after that does not include enclosed structures in the road, but a protective area for tables and chairs. In the beginning, I started putting tables on the street. Fabrizio Cavallacci wants to be able to keep his enclosed structure at Cafe Reggio on McDougal since 1927. He likes the new sidewalk culture, says the city needs a more even enforcement process. Inspectors coming in saying you have to do this and that and then someone else after only two hours would come in and said um, that guy did not know what he was uh, talking about. The proposals would put uh, enforcement under the Department of Transportation. Uh, the city council process would begin for this. There'd be a land use process, still something to be discussed uh, throughout the summer. The Hospitality Alliance uh, is also helping craft this. Uh, the new mayor and new city council could weigh in in 2022 as well. On the east side, Greg Mocker, PIX11 News.